Oh, wait, we should do video game award voting. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll vote for the video game awards. I am down for that. You haven't even played in any of them? So? I vote in the presidential election. I don't know what the fuck those fuckers are up to. And that's way higher stakes. You're telling me I can't vote in a goddamn game awards poll? I'm an American. It's my God-given right to vote and not know. All right, guys, it's game award seasons. I believe the game awards uh, happens December 7th. I like the game awards. I think it's a really good game show. I like Jeff. I went to last year's. I won last year's streamer of the year. Shout out. Not nominated this year. In fact, I think the nominations are a bit weird in a few categories. I do want to talk about that, but the rest seems pretty good. First vote is the big one. Game of the year. And we have six options. Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I think there's only two games that deserve to be here in my mind. Maybe three. Nah, I, I, I can't really speak actually on Alan Wake or Resident Evil, but I can speak on these four. Mostly just because I watched Donkey's video about Mario Wonder, so I'm almost a pro. In the battle between Baldur's Gate 3 and Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom, because those that's, that's that's what this is, right? That's what this is. I also think Final Fantasy should have been here. I agree. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's not here and Mario Wonder is. In the battle between Baldur's Gate and Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom, I think I have to to give it to tears or excuse me Baldur's Gate and this I mean this is coming from the perspective of somebody who's played a couple of hours of Baldur's Gate in 25 plus hours of Tears of the Kingdom I just think Baldur's Gate's doing shit nobody's ever done before I mean Tears of the Kingdom's doing that as well but it's swag all right let's do it Baldur's Gate 3 I'm gonna cast my vote game of the year let's keep going next category best game direction awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design I'm gonna double down Baldur's Gate because I think that's what it's best at best narrative for outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game I think I tripled down Baldur's Gate because they have an insane story and it's also not a linear story which I feel like is a more difficult story to tell best art direction for outstanding creative and or technical achievement now they added technical achievement i'm gonna throw in zelda i don't know if that's correct am i crazy to say that i thought lies of p was ugly is this a crazy take i never played it i watched northern lion play a lot of it and i just didn't fuck with it visually that much not to say it's bad but i never once thought that and i went god Damn it, this is crushing art direction. That was not my that was not my thought. So I feel like it'd be wrong of me to vote for it. I'm gonna vote for Legend of Zelda. Best score in music. This is interesting. I feel like it's Hi-Fi Rush. Am I crazy? No, I think it's Hi-Fi Rush. I mean, not to say Final Fantasy is bad. It's very fitting. And there's a lot of good songs, but... Best audio design. I just like the noise the web make. <laughs> Best performance. I'm going to vote for the dude from Shameless. No particular reason. Innovation in accessibility. Uh, Street Fighter 6. Because they added modern, <laughs> which makes it possible for even the most dog shit gamer to hit a combo. <laughs> I mean, I was doing crazy shit, and that's because of the new modern controls. So that's crazy innovation. I can hit a shore. You can now. Best ongoing. Awarded for a, to a game for outstanding development ongoing uh, that involves the player experience over time. I, you know what? Final Fantasy 14 has a great call for this, but uh, for me, it's Fortnite. I think OG Fortnite was so sick. It made me play the game again. Like, I've been enjoying Fortnite. I, you know, I've been watching, like, if you look at my YouTube recommended right now, I've been watching so many Fortnite videos that I've been starting to get recommended different Fortnite content. I don't even know if it'll pop up. But I've been watching so many, like, OG, like, I, I, was, watch, I was watching Ninja's Most Kill Game. Now, it doesn't pop up a single time, so now I look dumb. But I was watching Ninja's Most Kills. I was watching Old Tifu. <laughs> I just bought uh, on, like, a nostalgia Fortnite kick. Best community support. Uh, I think it... Man, they all have a good claim. They really do all have a good claim. I don't want to give it to Baldur's Gate. I mean, not to say that they're bad at it. It just feels like I want to reward a game that's been doing it for longer. It's definitely not Destiny 2. I think Destiny 2 I've heard a lot of shit about. I've heard, like, horrible things about Destiny 2. Cyberpunk did a very good job on their update, but I don't know if that's enough. Final Fantasy... 14 and no man's sky i feel like both deserve some love here i'm gonna give it to final fantasy 14 i think they just deserve it man people call it the best mmo of all time and it's been out for fuck you know years uh it had no expansion this year well tough vote then that was a bad vote from me <laughs> best independent game uh it's gotta be dave the diver dave the diver sweeps best debut indie game has to be pizza tower pizza tower sweeps 
Dave the Diver's not indie. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the people who made the damn nominations. Don't get mad at me. Best mobile game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Honkai Star Rail has been the best at taking money from people. <laughs> so maybe it deserves a vote. Best VR AR game. I, I just really just couldn't care less about VR, so I don't even want to vote. Best action game? is Was Armored Core good, chat? I feel like it should go to Armored Core. Just I, I As a gamer, I've never played Armored Core, but I just know how highly people talk of it. Like, to not vote for it seems wrong. Best action adventure? Uh, Combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom. Spider-Man's dope, but I, uh, I think what's best about Spider-Man is is moving around. I think the, the puzzles in the game are usually pretty boring. And the combat makes you feel cool in like the same way God of War does, but you get, it's a little too good, I think. I want to give it to Zelda. I really like Zelda. Best RPG. I mean, if I voted you for best game, I should probably vote you for best RPG, right? Although, are they doing the thing where it's like, you know, should I vote somebody else? Is it like the thing where it's like, hey, you won game of the year, let's give this to somebody else? Because Lies of P really deserves it. A lot of people really like Lies of P. This is me just throwing Lies of P above. That's what this is. I think it deserves a bone. Baldur's Gate 3 can win game of the year. Let's give a bone to my boy, Liza P. Best fighting game. I can't believe Nasby is here so quickly. This came out a week ago. Am I crazy? When were these nominations done? <laughs> uh, I like Street Fighter 6. I think Street Fighter 6 is good. I also liked Mortal Kombat 1, though. They're both pretty good. I think in the short time that I played both, I, I had more of a connection with Street Fighter 6. I played Street Fighter 6 at the God Gamer event that I ran, and everybody got really hooked to it in a, in a very natural and organic way. Best family game. I don't like party animals personally that much. I know Disney makes some dog shit horse ass games. I think Pikmin. Only because Slime played so much Pikmin. <laughs> Best sim strategy game? I want City Skylines 2 to win it. Mostly because I like watching Doug Doug's videos. This is a super bad reason. <laughs> I've never played it. I just like watching Doug Doug's videos. They're entertaining. Best sports racing game? Oh, uh, man. These all suck. There's no way we didn't have a better sports game, right? Dude, this is kind of fucked up. Where's LEGO 2K Drive? Like, seriously, dude. Where is it? Like, a lot of people really enjoy that game. It really innovated on the racing title. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. I, I want to skip. I think they're all pretty shit. I think sports games is like the worst side of gaming these days. Best multiplayer. I feel like there must have been better multiplayer games. I, don't, I feel like I haven't seen enough of all these. I feel like B Baldur's Gate 3. M this might be controversial. I think it might be a bad multiplayer game because the time sync that you require for your group is so extensive that most people, I feel like, end up quitting their group before beating the game. <laughs> Like, it's amazing. It just requires too much. It's really trying on friendships. Making it through a Baldur's Gate 3 co-op is as impressive as making it through, like, every single... What's that one sexy movie that used to be, like, a Twilight fanfic? It's a sexy movie all the couples watch. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey had had announced that it was going to be like a trilogy, right? And I remember I watched it first with uh, with a girlfriend at the time in college. And I remember saying to her, I was like, dude, if we make it through all three of these movies, because there was a two-year break between every one, I think we're going to stay together forever. We didn't make it to the second. <laughs> I mean, they just took too damn long in between the films. And now I just can't watch the film anymore. It's, it'd be weird. It'd be weird to watch one with one, you know, one with the other. You just can't do that. I can't mix and match. I just had to give up on the whole franchise. Not that I was, like, all about it, but, like, I, I had to give up. So I think Baldur's Gate's the same thing to me. You make it through that, you're friends for life. You don't. I mean, you just maybe maybe axe the whole thing. Uh, I'll give it, honestly, oh, I'll just give it to Street Fighter. Best Adaptation. Adapt adaptation. Adaptation. Recognizes outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentically adapts a video game to another medium. Ooh. So it's probably between The Last of Us or the Super Mario Bros. movie. I'm going to give it to the Super Mario Bros. movie, which is a more maybe normie opinion than doing Last of Us. And everybody loves Pedro, Pascal. But I like the Mario movie. I like when he goes to me, Mario. I liked it. I don't give a shit what you guys are saying. I liked it. I'm going to click it. Sorry. I liked I like when he went into me Mario and he got the star and it went beep 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 I liked it. I don't tell you guys. You guys are mad. I liked it. I'm clicking it. I clicked it. It's done. It's done. Locked it in. Sorry. Most anticipated game. I hate this award. Every year I say that I hate this award. I mean, I guess it's just a billboard award. Uh 
These are all really good options, I will say. I guess these three are good. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, I'm not as excited about Rebirth because I heard there's a third one now. Is this real? I heard that there's going to be a third after Rebirth, which makes me way less excited for Rebirth. Way less excited. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. This one's supposed to be insane for uh, enjoyers of Yakuza. Shout out Devin, I think. OG viewer who played through every Yakuza 100% this year. But I got to give it to Hades. I'm very excited for Hades. Personally, that's the one I'm the most excited for. Content creator of the year. Okay, whose people make games? And I don't mean that in a who megalol way. It just sounds like a dev company. This story began when I learned three stunning things about Roblox. If you don't know much about Roblox, today it is the most popular video game in the US and Europe, played by 200 million, mostly young people every month. Is this like an investigative journalist for games? That's kind of cool. That's cool that they got nominated. Uh, Mouse, Quackity, People Make Games, Spreen, and Cypher PK. Interesting list. Oof. So this is hard because I have a personal relationship with Mouse, but I would be remiss if I did not talk about Quackity, who I feel like is having the best year of his career. And I have seen the relationships built from his Minecraft server proliferate outside of the Minecraft server to an insane degree. And and and, and these are relationships cross language barrier. That's very impressive. So like maybe you're like, oh, I didn't I haven't watched Quackity. What are you talking about, Ludwig? If you guys know like, I don't know who a good example is off top. Etoile, the French streamer, like doing a lot of clubs with Tina, that's from the Minecraft server, right? Like that's impressive to me. It's been a huge part of Jaden's streaming this year. I feel like I would objectively say Quackity of this list is the most deserving. Mouse is all also in QSMB, yeah, that's true. But he made it. He made the shit. So I, I think, uh, I think Mouse is great too, and very deserving of the reward award. But I vote, I vote Quackity for for making QSMP, which I think is very cool. She's gonna disown you. I think she would respect my opinion in a way. Best esports game. It's definitely not Counter Strike Two. Definitely not Dota Two. Maybe the worst year ever for Dota Two. At least since its release. Definitely not PUBG Mobile. It's probably League or Valorant. I don't even know how you would vote CS2. They haven't even had a major yet. It'd be crazy to vote for CS2. They haven't had a major and the game's dog shit right now. Like how how would that win? I think for me, it's it's Valorant. I think Riot did a good job with champs this year. You know, I, I, I also am an owner of a Valorant team. So maybe this makes me biased. I would say League. Look, I'll change my vote back to League if Faker wins uh, this weekend. Then it's back. Best esports athlete. All right. We got Faker, Zaiwu, Demon One, Hydra, Ruler, or Imperial Hall. Demon One had himself a fucking year. He had himself a goddamn year. But I might. I mean, here's the thing it's Faker if he wins. So I'm going to vote for him contingent on his victory. Best esports team. I feel like voting Evil Geniuses is brain dead after what they did to their team. Fnatic has had such a good year. JD Gaming got upset. They didn't do very well. Uh, I'll go Fnatic. They've had such a good year. I've heard some complaints. I believe this guy right here, Remy X T Q Z Z Z, literally tweeted out, "Why am I on this list? I haven't coached this year." So as far as I'm aware, this is a pretty bad list. But I still think Potter is dope, and I will vote Potter, even though I don't fuck with Evil Geniuses at the moment. Best esports event. I think it's still Worlds. I think it's still Worlds. How do I get to the next category? Oh, no. I think I did them all. It's still Worlds. I don't think it's Evo. They're missing a little smash. You know, if they had a little smash in there, maybe we're talking. No Ludwig Tarek Invitational. I'm telling you, bro, we get snubbed. Nothing but snub.